Hello everyone. Hello. I'm Scruzo and Hi is, there everybody. And this is Aki, one of the GMs of Exalt. I'm Scruzo, one of the officers of Exalt, and today we're gonna be showing you guys how to complete the officer test. Right, okay. Um the officer test for Exalt is the gauntlet solo without any deaths, with you dragging your um dead overseer with you throughout. So you'll have the enemies and the strength and the HP for two people to deal with. All right, okay. That's uh, pretty much why we're here. It um, sounds... The first arena. Go on, Scruzo. It definitely sounds like a very yeah, tough task like to complete, but I will assure you guys it's definitely doable. Scruzo was the first officer to pass this test um, since we newly implement implemented it. So... Well done to Screws again for completing it. Um, he knows what it's like. Um, I'm going to be on the other hand today. I'm going to be the one completing the test, and Screws is going to be the one dead. So off we go then. Um, the first arena. If you can see over here by these screens, there are three screens which tell you um, what enemies are going to actually be inside the first gauntlet arena. So with the first screen on the far left would show you that there's going to be wolvers. The second screen will show you that there is going to be shock and the third screen will naturally show you that there's going to be a lot of jellies in there as well. Right, okay. And now to have a quick overlook at my gear. Alright. Now everybody knows that um piercing um is highly recommended for this arena. Um, especially you've got a lot of jellies, a lot of wolvers and, and chromas in there that are dual piercing. And because each piercing and shock that are your two main threats in this arena, I have chosen the Mercurial Helm and the Mercurial Mal as my set. Now, this is a very good set, but any wolver set would do fine, providing you can dodge any shock spikes or shock um, goo on the floor. Which is precisely um, what I have to use. Yep. I had to use a the, Skulver setup for when I took the test because I am without Mercurial Mail. The shield I decided to take with me is the Barbarous Fawn Shield. Um, now, not only does it deal with piercing, it gives great damage bonus for your swords, which can come in handy during this arena, um, especially with the amount of enemies that you're going to have there. Um, for my trinkets, I've chosen a damage bonus for my swords again. So I have good damage bonus and charge with time reduction for when I want to kill them jellies. Um, now, as for swords and guns, I've chosen a final flourish to deal with all the piercing enemies that we've got. Um, and an archer. And they're the main two weapons that I'm going to be using because it's mainly, as I said, jelly and wolver. And then I'll have my Sentenza for when I can't get up close to the jelly turret so I can then shoot them from afar. And a combustor just to round it off evenly. Okay. So that's basically the overall view of what we got. I don't know whether screws are zoomed in that or not. I have. But yeah, that's the general equipment loadout that I have gone for. Now what you pick is up to you. You just make sure that you've got the basis covered. And one thing I'm right going to then. recommend against, it's completely up to you guys when you're taking the test, but I'm going to recommend against using bombs, because they will slow you down, and continuing to move is everything in this arena. It is not the easiest thing to complete with a bomb, because you'll have to stop, charge, and then walk slowly. So it's up to you guys, but I'm going to recommend against it. It's a bit dangerous. I know of people who have used bombs and they've turned around and said it can be hard using a bomb. Mm -hmm. But if you're naturally a bomber, then you're going to be using bombs. It may take a little bit more pra to practice, but it'll be worth the while when you get that officer promotion. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, Scruzo's been a bit um, premature and he's died already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way up to the first arena. <laughs> Right, and what I'm doing is just breaking all of the lights because, as everybody knows, they contain crowns, and crowns are always good. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Exactly. Right, okay. As you approach, you can see that we're down to... It's quite a nice area. 
but still limited area for the amount of um, enemies that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Now, the first wave contains two jelly turrets at the top and some wolvers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge my archer and to kill the two jelly turrets beforehand. Now, do bear with me if at times I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. Um, but at those time screws, I will fill you in with what's actually happening, okay? I will try to fill the blanks. So, <laughs> so without further ado, here we go. And that's quite a nice start, actually. Because straight away, I've got a pill. And it, pills are quite handy in this arena. In any of them, actually. Yes. Now what I'm doing is, it's just my preference, but the shock jellies I'll get rid of. And it's always a handy idea to, if we can, get rid of the healer. Because the healer will create you a lot of trouble if you don't decide to kill it. And oh by accident I've just read a screw zone. So what I'll do is I'll heal up. And the reason why... Um, Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Gone. Um, basically, now that I've res Scruzo, there is no chance that I could res him and lose health again. Um, this is why the um, person who is dead will always stay dead throughout the whole entirety of the test. One of the techniques sometimes used by the testers is not exactly what I did at the beginning of the test. We both step into the party button and I go die in a shock trap, so there's no mistake of accidentally reviving me. So sometimes that is used, but we did not end up using that this time. As I said, screw zone was a bit premature. <laughs> it's alright. You get different testers doing it different ways. Ooh. My final flourish has gone really tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we did on my screen. I don't know what about you, Scruzo. Uh, right. Easiest thing to do is with this arena is get rid of the two bottom turrets first because you've got plenty of room to dodge around the top ones. And then once I don't know whether Scruzo found this out. You can go take out the top ones. Oh, that was rather silly of me. Careful there. It's alright. It is no problem at all. We've got health in the bottom. Just be careful with this arena. You've got these little chromas. They spit um, this horrible substance that basically shocks you as well. So you've got to try and move around and forever move around and dodge the wolvers and... Make sure you don't step in that horrible goo. As a, I'm trying not to demonstrate that because I know that shock is horrible, even with Mercurial set. So if you can avoid it, please do. All right, there is a remedy capsule. These are also very, very special and great to have in any of the arenas because they can save you in a tight situation. Right, An so example of this is the shock in the second arena. Or the second arena, yep. Alright, so normally the tester would stay dead, but because I've been revived and I need to properly watch Aki, I'm going to pick myself up and we'll proceed to the next arena. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the techniques that some people use when they're doing this arena is if there's a pill here, like on the ground, you can run up ahead, drop a pill at that gate, come back and get this one. So some people will do that. Exactly what I'm doing, Scruzo. Mm -hmm. I will do it for the purpose of the test. I'll do it exactly the same way as you guys would do it. Um, I will grab every pill, every remedy that I can because it will all matter. Right, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change loadouts quickly. Now this arena involves frozen undead and fiends. The second arena for many people has been the most troublesome, the first arena is second, and the last arena possibly the easiest. Or at least that is how it is for yes. Aki and I. Certain people have certain differences. Yes. 
I do agree. The first arena I find um, typically easy and the last arena as well. It's the middle arena that everybody fears. Everybody hates Devilites. Everybody hates the freeze status, especially when you've got the freeze traps. I'll show you them in a second. Now, they're particularly nasty. In this arena, it is ideal to keep moving. Do not stop. You stop, there's a chance that you um, can take a derp nap. Now, I would like to keep moving and I will show you a couple of neat tricks as well um, which will stop you getting like double waves of enemies spawning um, and as well if I can manage to do it, another little trick. So, um, it will be quite nice to show you and basically for this arena, um, I'd like Scruzo just to have a look at my, um, well have a look at what I'm wearing. A Snorblax cap um, with default freeze resistance is good because it gives you defense against the undead and the fiends as well as some freeze resistance. Yes, and the Snorblax coat as well, which is the same. And I've gone for the Crest of Almire. And the Crest of Almire is a brilliant shield, especially in this arena. Um, it's got great shadow protection, so it's a great asset to have with you in this arena. Yeah, um, as for weapons, yeah, I know that would be brilliant, wouldn't it, Scruzo? But uh, it's a nice, <laughs> nice shield as it is. Can't have everything. Um, no, we can't. Right. As for weapons, I've gone for the final flourish. Um, the final flourish is I demonstrated. It's a, a nice sword in in general um, and so I've gone for that to deal with all the devilites, all the fiends, all the grievers that we'll have in there and including the trojans as well because there will be two trojans in this arena and the other part that I'll be using is the combustor the combustor will be for the undead but people often ask why use a combustor well in my opinion combustor is a brilliant sword um, purely for its pushback so other brandishes do have pushback, but not as much as the combustor. And in this arena, having a bit of space is nice. So if you can use the combustor and push everything back, it's lovely. Um, I know Scruzo on his test, he used a different sword. I but it's just down to personal the preference. Glacius. Yeah. Also, everything um, does freeze. So, everything. so fire does great damage against them. So that helps. Exactly. Um, for guns, I've chosen the Polaris. The Polaris is a great gun against fiends um, and against any enemy to be quite fat. It's um, quite overpowered. It's a lovely gun. And the other gun that I've chosen is the Valiance. And not a lot of people like using the Valiance, but I'll tell you what, if you come across a lot of fiends, it's got enough knockback to knock them and sort of push them back out of the way, the same as what the Polaris has. It's just that it's a quicker firer than what I find the Polaris to be. So I'm taking them two guns with me as well as them two swords. And the same again. I'm taking a charge time reduction trinket and a damage bonus trinket. All right. Now normally at this point I'll be turning around and saying ladies and fellas we need to heal. But I have full health so what I'm going to do is just carry on. Right. I don't know whether you wanted to die over there Scruzo quickly I do you want me to die here or in the freeze traps they don't revive me if you die here I can revive you and then go and heal back where would you need to revive that way you can see the whole arena if you stand in the bushes and die I'll revive you and I'll go and Sorry about this, boys and girls. Usually the testers stay dead throughout the whole of the test. But we have a little, had a little bit of difficulty, and now Scruzo is staying dead. If you'd like to come forward, Scruzo. Almost worked. Almost worked. There we go. Now Scruzo will stay dead. <laughs> And then that way what he'll do is he'll stay on the party button. I've got no way of resing him and basically he can watch everything I'm doing. The only problem with so this as you can see, is I'm not able to actively track Aki and I can't see her properly. But I can still see the majority of the arena. 
Okay. Um, with this one, it's the Ultra Health Capsule. Um, I'm going to basically do what I did for bring it from the first arena to the button. I'm going to take it from the button to the second arena. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the arena, drop the pill and come back for the other one. Now these freeze traps, they Which can I even be your best friend or they can really, really not help you during this arena. They can Just be a huge for problem a if, you I'm coming down slip in, if you slip into the freeze traps, it is the best idea to pop a remedy capsule right then and run, because if you get stuck in a freeze trap, you're going to be swarmed. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> there you go, just picked up the pill, and then I'm going to run ahead. I'll leave you watching Screws as their body for a minute. <laughs> now, the first wave of this arena, you will have two turrets. One in the top left-hand corner, and one in the bottom right-hand corner, I think. And then you have some undead as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge my combustor. And off we go. Alright, so as you can see, oh, I got incredibly lucky and got a love puppy. Yeah, if I can help it, I'm not going to be killing that. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, leaving one of the puppies alive can help with wave control a great deal. As you can see, he spawns simply a simple great wave of grievers. And from here, Aki will take those out. I was extremely lucky getting this. I've never seen this. <laughs> so, yeah. Do bear with me if it is not a love puppy in your test, and I do apologise for that. But this little fella is going to help me out a, a little bit, but not by much, because the amount of damage you can actually still take in this arena. Alright, now that we've got sort but, of a lull in the combat, Aki's able to heal up, get her bearings, and get prepared for the next wave. And sadly bid farewell to the love puppy. No, you must not go, love puppy. Bye, love puppy. Bye, love puppy. Alright, okay. Right, if you can. With this arena. It's a good idea to take out the menders try as soon as possible. Yeah, which is what I'm trying to do. Right, I was quite lucky there with the freeze traps. You can actually get really stuck and really frozen. That's why you've got to watch what your Trojan is doing as well. The idea with this arena as well is to keep yourself really well healed up as well. Because it can be a tough arena if you're even at halfway. Right, now you're probably thinking why the hell am I not killing that Trojan? Well, Trojan I can give you a simple answer to that. Wave control. That Trojan spawns a nice um, puppy wave. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate if I can, something that I picked up from one of my fellow guildies who just recently took his vet's test, and that officer was C's. Congratulations, but it, sorry, officer test, or have I yet? Congratulations, C's. You've done really well. Can't smack at me. Now, when the Trojans do their little area burst effect, that can be one of the most dangerous things in this arena, because 
you can get shot into the side walls, but Aki is having some very good luck right now. Able to avoid that and not get frozen last time. Alright, here right, we go. Okay, now my guildy seers managed to treat managed to um, help me a great treat with this arena. Now I said not to move, but as you can see, I'm not getting any trouble with the turrets. Now so using his test managed to um, put the Trojan, kill the Trojan near one of the puppies. So he couldn't shoot, the puppy couldn't shoot at Sears during his test, which I thought was quite brilliant actually. Now with these guys, if you can, avoid them when they, um, the head shoots away. Because they can take a great deal of health off of you. As well as your shield. As well Yep. It is also a very good idea to leave that Trojan unbroken until you need the health, because it's kind of just a revival system in the waiting. Right, that was actually quite lucky. Alright, so as you can see, Aki's a bit low on health, so she will heal, break the Trojan and kill these fiends. Alright, now all that's left is a simple Trojan. Come on. <laughs> and down he goes. There we go. Alright, so... Sorry, I'm waving in excitement because I love beating this arena. It is an absolutely brilliant arena to beat if you do get the chance. Mm -hmm. Right, as you can see, um, that was the second arena. It is really difficult to complete that arena. Um, but with a lot of trying, you can actually complete it. Mm -hmm. Now... We move on to the third arena, which happens to be Gremlin and Mecha. Fire damage. Now this arena I quite like, yes, fire damage. So let's have a look at my equipment screws though, shall we? Mm-hmm. Right, okay, now everybody knows if you know all your damage types quite well, that um, Gremlin deal, would deal a lot of LE and the mental damage. So I've got the VOG cap, cap and coat, which is a lot of elemental protection and as well as the grey eye light shield. Now the grey eye light shield and the VOG cub set also deal um, deal with the uh, fire greatly. So it's quite handy because there will be fire traps in this arena. Now I've taken yet again the same damage trinket and time, charge time reduction trinket as before. Now, with this arena, um, I like to use the glaciers because it can freeze a lot of the little gremlins in place. And then you've got your archeron, which is handy for the charge, and your grand falls just in case you can get stuck, then you can knock enemies out of the way. And to round it off, I've got the Polaris. So without further ado, we'll get along with that arena. Did I have any pills in the bottom arena? Or was there I was okay? a remedy capsule there down there. That's no, fine, I've got three remedies already. Alright. Alright. So yet again, screws I will die but a bit nearer to the edge this time. <laughs> yep. Alright, off there we go. There we go, screws those raised. Aki will go back healed. and heal. And then we shall head off. And make sure you do heal because every single healing point is brilliant and really useful and every single point will um, count to you during your test. Now as I said before breaking these is good because you can get extra crowns I won't go around and break every single one though because obviously time with the video. Right okay so as you can see you've got four fire traps you've got one in each corner and then you've got this galley bay that runs all the way around. Now my main part of the fighting will be done in the galley way around the outside. 
Now I found it quite handy and I don't know whether Scruzo feels this way but that is the nicest part about this arena. It is indeed. Continuing around the outside and charge attacks can really make this arena a snap. It's quite easy. Right, okay, so without further ado... Here we go. Now as you can see... What I'll do first, is get rid of the longer range. Mm -hmm. The puppies. So, sorry, screws there. And then from there she begins going around the outside. Now the... What am I trying to say? Napalm or flamethrower gremlin, if I remember correctly, is what spawns the second wave, and for some reason he doesn't really like to attack. So you can just leave him alone and kill everything else, and then when you're ready, attack him. Uh, I will kill one of them. Because, yeah, I've got enough room to maneuver and enough things to do, I can, I can kill him. One of the most annoying things about this arena is what just happened on the right side over there. The flamethrower gremlin just got in Aki's way. That can sometimes cause some problems, so you have to be ready to continue moving in a new direction. And watch out for the little dudes as well. Many people underestimate the damage that they can do. Uh, believe me, I've been caught out a few times on normal gremlin levels where them little dudes have come up and they've smacked me. So, just beware of what damage they can do. Because they can send you um, flying into the fire pit. And as you can see, all what I'm pretty much doing is I'm going around pretty much spam charging. And every once in a while, and then we've of, got these. Using a little bit of flare and attacking the with flare. the. Fine, Grand Flora. Grand Fost. Yes. Now, if I can, get rid of the healer. Now, these healers in this arena can be stubborn. If I'm quite honest. They like to and love to. They absolutely love so, oh, so I forgot what I was going to say. Absolutely, revive each other yeah. and continue healing. Revive each other. I love to just stay alive. And that can be a pain, especially when you're trying to deal with the wave control and, and everything like that. So I'd like to get rid of the healers first. Speaking of wave control, I've spoken to a few people who have said they never end up using it and that they don't think they need it. It is definitely something worth learning. I remember thinking back to my members test, which is... I can link the video in the description if you're interested, or it's also on the Exalt channel, but the members test is just soloing a tier 2 arena. And that was, at the time, one of the hardest things I'd ever done. I hate to say it, but it was, because I had no clue how to do any form of wave control. <laughs> Neither did I, and uh, that's what I think the thing I love about our tests is everything seems to have rounded off pretty well. Um, you start off with um, your member's test, which tells you how to deal with wave control, um, and then obviously you'll be doing a lot of firestorms, so that's where our vet's test comes in. And then you've got this test, which really does test what kind of player you are and whether you can deal with difficult situations. It pits you against the most dangerous that's types of enemies. Yes, it does. Every element, every status, except for poison and curse. Yeah, I would not like to see poison and or curse in these at all, yeah, if I'm 100% honest. No, we will not give free rings any ideas. Now, as you can see, I'm just simply going around do my thing. And the final Killing wave. Killing them. Yes, this is the final wave. Now, one thing I think we may have forgotten to mention in the last wave, or possibly two waves ago, down where Aki is right now, at the bottom of the screen, uh, in one of the waves it spawns, I believe, many gremlins, a few constructs, and a rocket puppy. It is yeah, that a very puppy. smart idea to get rid of the rocket puppy before you do anything else, because he can really cause some problems. 
He can knock down your shield, throw you into a fire trap, and get you surrounded by enemies. One thing you've got to do is with this arena, as well as others, move around a lot. You can continue to move around the edges, like what Aki's doing now, in just a continuous counterclockwise rotation. Or you can do sort of a figure eight shape, and if you do that, it'll keep the majority of the enemies near the middle, so you can get your charge shots in there. Up to you, however you like to do it. Ooh. We're good. This is the time where I've got to start being a bit careful. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the problems is what just happened now, one there. The one of the menders there, picked up the other mender, so it is a good idea to dispatch both of them as soon as you can. Yeah, which can be really difficult sometimes, there goes the other as one you again. can see. Yes, I'll leave Scruzo to talk to you, so I can carry on focusing on what I'm doing. All right. One of the things you can continue to do, since gremlins will only revive fellow gremlins, is focus on the mechanites, and when they're down you have a little breathing room to get rid of the menders, but the second all the menders are gone, which just happened, you were left to just Yay! have some nice concentration on the Mechanites and those final gremlins. And the one thing I do not want to do is get near them Mechanites as much as possible because, as you can see, my health is a little bit lower than what it has been throughout the majority of this test. And the idea is you kind of stay away from them because they've got a nasty flame attack. Yeah, which is sad because usually the only way to take down a Mecha Knight with a charge attack is to get up real close, have your initial blast take down their shield, and let the charge do the rest. But, as you can see, Aki has successfully passed her officer's test. Now, we don't promote her yet because we have to make sure she doesn't trip into the thorns up there, but other than that... We're good. We're good. That's pretty much the officer test. Now, if any anybody is given the opportunity to take their officer's test in Exalt, um, I'm always free to come and help you guys out, um, to come and help you do the arena, just to talk through what we've gone through here, um, and as well as just to have a chat about the waves and about everything. Right, okay, so that's about it really. So yeah. basically with this arena, it's taking your time, moving around a lot, keeping your cool, and basically just making sure you're well equipped for the challenge. You can do this arena in four star gear if you uh, wish. Um, all it does is take a little bit more practice than mm -hmm. um, what you would go through with five star gear. So it's perfectly possible. And remember, and remember practice, makes perfect. <laughs> remember, practice makes perfect. Indeed. Now, congratulations to all of our recent ones who have passed our officer's test, which are Scruzo, Hashi, and Sears. And we've got another person who's taking their, her officer's test very soon, so I'm hoping that she passes. So, with all of that said, um, thank you for watching our video. Thank you for taking the time to actually view it. And I hope and wish you all the best in your officer test. Or if not, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.